didgeridoo waiting. A didgeridoo in waiting. Right there. That's what the plant is. An agave. Agave, agave, agave plant. There. That's got a, a flower. The flower already bloomed. Now it's drying. When it gets drier, that's when you make a didgeridoo. Okay, cut the... Uh, the top, so it's about... The diameter here is about two inches. Or depending on how big of the mouthpiece you want. The bigger the mouthpiece, the harder it is to play. Inch and a quarter to inch and a half inside diameter. At the bottom. I'm making my own ingredients. And it's going to be the best one in my life. Yeah. job of cleaning this babe up and she already cut part way and uh, I, I didn't let her cut it all the way because there's some cracks here that needs to be filled before you we split this apart and clean it so uh, the way we're gonna fill these cracks is by um, using some wood glue a cup and dust that that came off the cuttings of uh, of the, the actual didgeridoo, so you get pretty much the same color when you're done, you wanna use the same color. So we're gonna put the dust right in there. And, yeah, that way, better. Put the glue in there, and you mix it. Looks like I put just about the right amount by eye. Like that. And I'm gonna let you do it now. Okay, so I'm taking over from Antonio's perfect mixture here. And I'm going to glue these cracks here, fill them up. Yeah, push it in there real good. Better too much than not enough. Yeah, just kind of leave it a little bit higher so later you're going to be able to sand it out to make sure it's fully in there, as tight as possible so the glue can bond. And the scientist puts it in the sun to dry the glue fast. That's smart. Okay. Clean off the uh, excess uh, potty. Just do, did you do? Steel wall there to make it smoother. Final touch it. Okay, the scientist has cut the ditch. Let's see if we can split it out in half. Yeah, there it goes. All right. So that's what the inside looks like. Termites. Beautiful, huh? Yeah? Yes. Are you happy? Yes, I'm very happy. Moon here. Yes, grape that stuff comes right off because it's soft. Like all of it? Yeah, all of it. Yeah, I think I'm okay, into okay, okay, look, you gotta be careful so you don't make holes in it and you stay away from the edges, right. okay? You gotta stay away at least like a quarter inch. But the thing is, it's like all rotten, you know. Like That's okay, gotta... we're gonna take care of you. Just make a nice channel and try not to make any holes. Okay, looks like uh, Veronica's done a great job of cleaning this thing out. Got it pretty much uh, hollowed out all the way to the end. Clean, nice. And 
then we do the other half. So it's pretty clean now. We want to get this uh, steel stuff, uh, like dishwashing thing, that, and take all the like the loose the loose pieces, like uh, the little wood, uh, almost like air box things. Make sure it's clean. Time to glue it. Gonna use some wood glue. Put a bead on it on both sides. Future. Digitally do. Okay, here you make your own primitive clamps. Some string. Tie a knot. Loose like that. And you take a stick. And you twist it. You twist it until you get it to the right tension. Make sure you don't squeeze it too much so to make it oval or like that. And then you tie this so it stays there. There's another piece of string. Like that. And that holds it. And you just keep doing them with the sticks all the way down. And you put it, the didgeridoo in the sun to dry. Uh, the glue probably dries, uh, you know, in about an hour or two. So we made some makeshift uh, clamps here to glue it back together with sticks and, and uh, string and uh, clamps, whatever you can hold it together with to make it so it's nice and round. Yeah. So you need to check and see if it's all tied together and if there's still little holes and spaces, you need to fill them with the, um, the glue mixed with the sawdust. Okay, the glue is dried and we're ready to pour the uh, sealer liquid inside. Okay, this is uh, the stuff we put inside. This is fiberglass resin. There are other products on the market that you can use that dry quickly. So this, you mix it with this little uh, drops. It tells you the directions on the, on, the, on the can, how many drops per ounce to put. And it dries, uh, you, you can only work it for about five, seven minutes and then, so you can't mix too much. Just mix enough and then remix it when you need it. And inside, after you pour it inside, it usually dries in about an hour or two, but then you have to wait, the fumes are really bad. Six, seven hours before you play it so you don't get the fumes. At the end, tipped up so we can pour the liquid in. And now we're gonna, we're gonna pour the liquid inside. This is to coat the inside, so it stops all the holes, all the leaks, and makes the did you do harder? After pouring the liquid in, make sure you turn the did you do so that the liquid goes even all around, all the way from the top to the bottom. And it dries really quick, so you can't waste too much time in pouring it in. And agave absorbs a lot of it, so to do one of these, you need at least one of these cans. It's gonna do the outside too. So now, uh, last night we put the first coat, now it's ready to put on uh, another coat inside. It shouldn't take much more now because it's already partly coated. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, you gotta be careful. This stuff is uh, very vapor and explosive and, and toxic. Okay, we're pouring the second coat here. To make sure it's all completely coated and sealed inside. And you want to turn the ditch so the stuff goes all even everywhere. Coat the outside to seal all the holes and make it stronger and preserve the beauty of nature. So we're gonna even out the mouthpiece here a little bit. 
make it so it's not so jaggedy. I'm actually probably going to need to put a little bit of, uh, of, uh, of epoxy to shape it a little bit more inside here to make it better. Yeah, after reshaping the mouth, sanding and put epoxy here and make it look good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a new car. I think you gotta break it in. You got it. You did 